Hi guys, today on the review of the IP camera from the store GearBest. In this video I will tell you about almost everything. Let's get started. The camera supports HD video. There is a two-way communication, moving object tracking function, night vision mode, and other cool features. Controlled by a smartphone. Instruction in English. Power adapter. Camera. Fasteners. Ceiling mount and USB cable. The bracket is attached to the ceiling with two screws. Rotate 90 degrees. Threaded hole. On the back side is a LAN port to connect to your home network. Slot for microSD card. Reset button power connector and two Wi-Fi antennas. Microphone Dynamics Lens Light sensor and night vision LEDs The adapter for the Euro plug was not included, so I found another adapter. Length of the USB cable 80 cm. Network cable I have. Connect the camera to the power and to the router. After power on, the camera should return to its original position. Next, take a smartphone and install the application 360 Eyes. You can download from the site, but I installed through the Play Market. Open the application. Now you need to register. Select the country, then enter the mail and click send. After some time you will receive an email with the code. Copy the code and paste it into this line. Put a tick that agree to the terms and click next. In these fields you must specify a password and confirm it. Click OK. Allow the application to access media. Add the camera. Select the type of connection. I'll show you the cable connection first. I've got everything connected, so I press on. The camera was found very quickly. Click on the MAC address and click Add Camera. Enter a name for the camera. The program offers to take a navigation picture. Let's try. No, it's not the sound of the camera moving. It's a blender. The camera will take 15 pictures, which will combine into one. To create a Wi-Fi connection, you must press the reset button on the camera. Hold for a few seconds. The camera reported ready. Click Next. Here you must enter the password from Wi-Fi. We add the volume of the tablet to the maximum and put the camera as close as possible. Camera ready. 
choose a name for the camera. After each new connection, the app will offer to make a panoramic photo for navigation, but you can do it at any time by pressing 360 degrees. Here. All done. Click on the camera. This panoramic shot is convenient to use navigation. To do this, just click to the right place and the camera will focus on this place. Also, you can control the camera simply by swiping your finger across the screen. The picture can be increased. This icon allows you to set the time for the current camera angle. And every time at a given time the camera will be set to this position. You can specify more than one of these points. Here you can choose the date of shooting and just below is the timeline, moving that you can view past records. Scale can also be changed for more precise positioning. This blue color shows the recorded video on the microSD card. When recording to the cloud, the intervals are shown in green and indicate movement. These fragments, of course, can be viewed. This icon activates the object tracking. That is, the camera starts to follow the moving object. Here you can select the video quality, SD, HD or Auto mode. This icon is for video recording. Allow the program to access the photo. Take a photo you need to click on this icon. To send a message to the camera hold the microphone icon. Allow the program access to the microphone. Hold this button and everything we say is transmitted to the camera. If you activate the speaker icon, everything that happens around the camera will be heard on the phone. Если активировать значок динамика, то все, что происходит вокруг камеры, будет слышно на телефоне. If you rotate the phone, you can turn on the 360 degree video mode. It a little rounds out the objects and it takes some time to render. As for data storage, there are two options – recording to microSD card or cloud storage. Offer free use for 30 days. You need to click activate and confirm. Here are the cloud settings. You can view your videos, enable or disable adding video to the cloud, delete unwanted files by selecting the date and time period, pay for cloud storage. If you enable the warning mode, the camera will detect movement in the frame and notify about it. An audible alarm is a siren that will work on the camera itself. You can select the time and sensitivity. You must click OK or the changes will not be saved. Check the alarm. A siren sounded on the camera and an alert came to the phone. You can delete the camera by clicking the trash can icon. Here you can share the camera with a person who has an account in this system, but no more than five. Other settings. If you are going to mount the camera to the ceiling, it is necessary to turn on the inverted display mode.
hear the sound and microphone setup. Here you can change the camera language and time zone. In encryption mode, you can enable user mode to set your password to access the camera. The recording time can only be selected for the memory card. For example, a day is selected and alert mode is enabled. Then, if the movement is recorded at this time, you will receive a notification and you can watch this video fragment. If the activity in the frame will be at another time, for example at night, you will receive a notification with a photo. If the cloud is selected, the observation is carried out around the clock. You can only see the fragments with the movement. In general, that's all you need. Information about the memory card and you can format it. For data storage you can choose cloud or microSD card. Camera firmware update. To reboot the camera, to reset the settings and remove the device. The album contains photos and videos that we made with our smartphone. It stores alerts by day and by hour. As I said earlier, if at the time of fixing the movement was shooting, then this fragment can be viewed. Like here. If the camera did not shoot at the moment of movement, then there will be only a photo. Here are the user settings. Sound alert when the app is enabled. And other settings. Night vision mode turns on automatically in low light. I close the sensor with my hand. After a few seconds the night vision LEDs light up. That's how the camera shoots in total darkness. The camera can be accessed from anywhere. Try to connect to it through the mobile internet. Everything works fine. The camera rotates at 355 degrees horizontally and 90 degrees vertically. It is necessary to say about the type of files. H264 video file extension, JPG photo format. If the recording is on the cloud, you cannot download them from there. If you record on microSD card, the files can be downloaded to your computer. But I could not view them. Here are the cons. That's all. I hope this video will help you make a choice. A purchase decision of course is yours to make. Link to the camera in the description. If you have questions, ask them in the comments. Perhaps this is all. See you in the next videos. Good luck. Bye.